What is up, ladies and gentlemen of the online jamily? This, of course, here is Jamira Fan 2000 with another Jamira Reviews video here on my channel on YouTube. Now, for any members of the family that are uninitiated in the series this has been my recurring series here on my channel when i have the luxury of a little bit of money and a little bit of capitalism to buy some new products from jumeric y official ones that come out um periodically over the last few years uh, looking at new pro new uh merchandise from jumeric y and i've got two pieces of merchandise um, i'm going to be covering in two videos coming up and this video in particular is very highly anticipated i'll give you a little bit of context now many members of the family know back in uh back in early 2023 it was announced that uh, sh figure arts or tamasi nations were going to be releasing for the first time a new 12 inch fully articulated uh, jk figurine jumeric y being the first musical artist to actually be honored with a figurine in their line. So given that a majority of the figurines that SH Figure Arts and Tomasi Nations put out are mostly anime related with many popular anime series to question being Godzilla, One Piece, uh, uh, Jujutsu Kaiden, and many other popular anime series. And Jumeric Y being the first musical artist to be uh, represented in a figurine um and this figurine is pretty expensive it is running about a hundred dollars right now over in japan on pre-order it was released on november 18th of 2023 and me being jamaica fan 2000 i ordered one in pre early pre-order now i ended up spending over a hundred dollars uh for this figurine and it came to me probably two days after the release date and here you go this is the sh figure arts at least this is a cover box for the SH Figure Arts a Jamiroquai figurine for uh, Virtual Insanity. And uh, this is a highly anticipated uh, collaboration between SH Figure Arts, Tomasi Nations, and Jamiroquai. This is officially licensed. Um, and this will be coming out in the United States between January to February of 2024 in the same kind of box, the same kind of style, but with actual English translations. And this figurine does come with two, I do tell you, two paper craft pieces of furniture from that virtual sanity music video um one is the black couch from the music video and remember this is paper craft so it's not gonna have like cushions it's it's gonna it's gonna look very much like you know like a novelty piece of furniture and a leather chair or the black chair from the virtual sanity music video so let's go ahead and crack this open um like i said this is on this is now on sale in japan for about a hundred dollars uh but bear in mind if you decide to import there will be a heck of a shipping cost i ended up spending nearly 140 dollars for this thing like i said most expensive item i have bought in my Jumeric White collection, next to probably the recently reissued High Times, the singles 1992 through 2006 on vinyl, two green vinyls, and of course the JK signed slipcase. But let's go ahead and crack this open. Um, now, this JK figurine does come with extra body parts, and that's customary with all these high end, and I do mean high end extra figures that come out of Jumeric. Japan or figurines, um, they come with extra hands, some come with extra heads, some come with actual little accessories, which you can buy on the side, but with the Jumeric Y figurine, they're not doing any accessories. The only accessory that was available was when you first originally were able to pre-order this back in, I want to say, early 2023 um, via Tomasi Nation's official website, which is in Japanese and English. They were sending out a pre-order bonus of an actual paper uh, representation, a paper background of the actual virtual sanity room which i thought was really cool but it was only for a limited time and it was only available to japanese pre-orderies not any uh stateside pre-orders but let's go ahead and crack this open um i did open this prior to make sure everything was fine but here you go here is the cover and as you can see beautiful packaging official seal by tomasi nations make sure this is an official tomasi nations collaboration but what you'll notice is the buffalo uh, the jk is embossed and the lettering is embossed on the cover isn't that beautiful absolutely gorgeous i'll show you all the sides now you get a basic white room with the buffalo man that's also embossed and on the back you get a couple more close-up embossed pictures of jk himself um in various poses um and i'll get the other side jk in his relative standing position but like i said this is a 12 inch fully articulated jk it comes with an extra head and comes with different nine extra hand gestures so the head is removable the head there's two different head poses there's this jk with a static face and the other one him going ah basically singing giving a face impression but let's go in and open this thing up um like i said i when I first heard the news about this, I had to get it because I love figurines. I do collect, I actually do collect action figures in my 
personal life, I do collect uh, pro wrestling action figures, if anybody wondered. But uh, I'm trying to be sh very careful with the way I open this. I do want to cr crease the, um, the, uh, the side of the box. But, okay, here we go. It, it has a side opening. Um, and here we go. Oof. There you go. You got an instruction manual on how to <laughs> dismember your JK figurine. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is my first time actually seeing this part of the box, but it shows you how to properly uh, t uh, dis disassemble your JK. And it's all in Japanese, but it's got visual aids. And then you can actually see right here, there are the hands. You get three, four different gestures of hands. Flat open, closed finger, uh, pointy finger and it looks like another pointy finger but then it shows you right here how to take the jk head off and put the hat on now the jk hat in question in this release the the the, the famous traveling out moving hat is uh not fabric okay now original when the original videos came out for this via tomasi nation's sh figure arts um the hat was actually made of a fake fabric material but it appears that they ended up going with a um it appears they ended up going with a rubber going with a rubber hat um and uh the head itself you know it's it's but here you go here is on the back of this thing connected to it oh geez these they put a lot of tape on this thing but here is a look at the figurine itself and it's plastic plastic chrysalis um, I'm going to try to get open this up without not breaking anything. But there's a lot of stickers on this. There's a lot of tape. But they actually put the furniture on the back of this thing, which is right here. This is the furniture. This is the paper craft furniture that you can build the chair and the sofa out of and uh, post JK on it. But I'm going to open this up and we're going to check this out. But uh, here we go. This here's another clear look at JK. But it opens from the back, I believe. Oh no, it opens from the top, I believe. It's all stickered in. This is completely stickered in. Um, okay, I'm back with you. Uh, I didn't want to make you feel like I uh, stopped the recording on purpose. But uh, I would put this up, but it would make all the hands fall out. But I'm gonna take JK out. Oh boy. And he's got a lot of, as you can see, the figurine has got a little plastic protective section for all of the all the possible body parts to artic to articulate and move around. But yeah, it is a rubber material on the JK. I'm going to give you a nice close up of this figurine. But uh, it comes with four sets of extra hands and a face. Now I'm going to try to pop the fa the other JK face out to give you a good close up. But uh, if you look at the head, so detailed down to the hair and a little tail. I mean, I love this figurine. Now, another thing that people didn't like about this figurine is they didn't do a collaboration or an official uh, collaboration with Adidas. Because if you look at the shoes, these are static trainers. There is no tri-stripe or anything on them. You know, it's just your basic shoes. But uh, I, I think this is a great figurine. I think they knocked it out of the park with the detail. Now, the jacket, if you're wondering, the jacket is Burgos. It is the original blue Burgos jacket. Uh, the pants are actually in the music video. If you watch the 4K version of the music video, the pants are uh, made of a velour material, so very shiny. But, uh, you know, uh, here is the other head of JK. Here's a good look at it. Now, you'll see that JK... The, 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 the singing JK, uh, the front of the face is actually a hollow shell, okay? And when you take the hat off, which I think I'm going to try to take the hat off, boom, he's got, yes, you didn't know, JK was once a rapper. Look at that hair. <laughs> no, but this is the Charlie on Moving Hat. Give you a good look at it. See how small it is? So you just pop that back on Jay's head. If I can figure out the right angle. There you go. Boop. There you go. And all you do is you take that off, you slip this face off, and then you can put this face right in its place. Huh, I made a rhyme. Isn't that cool? No, but this is, um, but yeah, this is amazing. Um, the detail, you know, you can, you can move the arms around, you know, do the robot, whatever you want. But, uh, 
absolutely incredible detail. I'm going to give you Trent in one more once over of the absolute awesome detail. I mean, absolutely beautiful. They did an amazing job on this, you know. And it's got fully articulated legs. You can go up, you can go down, you can move the knee up. But like I said, the main articulation points, which is the waist and the midsection, do have a little prep protective plastic center on there. So you make sure, you know, because you can move him around in any angle. But uh, I think this is absolutely incredible. Um, uh, after, as for the papercraft furniture, I will be taking complete pictures of this once I can take this all apart and figure out how to do the papercraft furniture. But uh, here you go. This is the JK SH Figure Arts uh, Tomasi Nation's 12-inch fully articulated virtual insanity JK. Um, I absolutely love this. I absolutely love what they did. The the the, the craftsmanship, the detail is tremendous and i've seen picture people all over all the japanese jamly on uh on instagram doing pictures of putting jk with other figures and other kinds of crazy things absolutely love it i'm sure you've seen it on the jamaica white subreddits but uh i think this is absolutely tremendous and if this comes out in the united states as good as i think it's going to be this is a must-have for every member of the jamly i absolutely love this um and you can move jay's feet up and down there is a little bit of arch to the feet so you can arch jay in whatever position you want to pose but uh there you go there is a 12 inch fully articulated virtual insanity jk figure by sh figure arts and tomasi nations i want to send a big thank you to the fine folks at sh figure arts and tomasi nations on creating an amazing figurine celebrating 30 years of jameric white's history and just uh, respecting Jamiroquai and giving him this honor of this figurine. Now, this isn't the first time Jamiroquai has been immortalized in a figurine or some physical representation. Of course, back in the late 70s with Traveling Out Moving, JK in this exact costume was uh, immortalized in a actual wax statue at Madame Tussauds Wax Museum in all, I think I believe in New York and in, in Paris, France. And they had this JK, you know, posing from the music video with an actual traveling on moving hat you know it's just so really really cool um you can find pictures of that on the internet but they did update that that big that uh that wax statue all the way up to synchronized by giving their jk an actual peacock hat like the one that was used in uh, several of their live concerts during the synchronized area but um Amazing job from Tomasi Nations and SH Figure Arts. Um, if you want to pre-order this for yourself, all the major websites in the United States have this for pre-order right now. All the toy sites. I believe Amazon.com finally put up a solid pre-order for this. The U.S. release date, apparently, according to Amazon, is February 15th of 2024 with at a price point of about $94.99, not counting shipping. I got this from Japan for literally about a $40 to $50 shipping cost, but it was well worth it. And I will take pictures of my JK, my little JK, in various different positions. So keep your eyes out for that. Coming up very soon on the twin subreddits of the online Jamly at our Jamiric White and our the Reddit Jamly. But as always, this is Jamir Fan 2000 I hope you enjoyed this Jamir reviews. If you like what you see, be sure to like and subscribe and ding the bell on your YouTube to stay up to date on all the latest new content coming from the Jamir Fan 2000 YouTube channel as we head towards the holiday season and, of course, the new year of 2024. I will endeavor and bring you all the latest news and... And uh, little mini JK here will just be standing in place and, you know, kicking ass. But as always, this is Jameer Fan 2000. Thank you for watching and happy holidays, everybody. And I hope you enjoyed the video.